because there is such a fire of the spirit of god moving in this place hallelujah praise god well before before you sit down uh, tell tell your neighbor thank you for coming for the for the family service give them a nice smile in jesus name thank you thank you choir god bless you choir and worship team we pray we praise god for you hallelujah glory to the name of jesus If you have your Bible, turn with me to the book of 1 Kings, chapter 18. 1 Kings, chapter 18. We welcome those of you who are joining us through the television. We want to tell you, welcome to the service. God is a, is a good God. He is going to bless you tremendously. We are expecting great blessings from heaven. And as God blesses us here in JCC, I believe he is going to bless you there wherever you are. Get ready with your Bible and let's dine in the house of God. Let's dine together at the table of the Lord. Uh, First Kings chapter 18, we're going to read from verse 41. Verse 41, the Bible says, And Elijah said to her, Go up, eat, and drink. For there is the sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. Then he bowed down on the ground and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. So he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And seven times he said, Go again. Please underline that in your Bible. And seven times he said, go again. Verse 44. Then it came to pass the seventh time that he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up and say to Hahab, prepare your chariot and go down before the rain stops you now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and wind and there was a heavy rain so Hab rode away and went to jezreel then the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he guarded up his loins and ran ahead of Hahab to the hindrance of Jezreel. Well, I want to share uh, from this portion of scripture. This, this word came to me a few weeks ago. The Lord put it so strongly in my spirit. The the time comes for God to confirm everything that he said he would do. Every prophetic word will come to pass. You see, if you are very careful and listening and paying attention to everything that the Spirit of God has been saying to us, there is such a great emphasis from the Spirit of God 
on the only listening and paying attention to the prophetic utterance say prophetic utterance shout it more than you did over and over this year the lord has been has been uh, speaking to us so strongly about paying attention to the prophetic utterance because every word that is spoken prophetically will come to pass exactly as it was said god never allows a prophetic word to fall on the ground it can never fall it must be fulfilled it must happen as it was spoken god honors the prophet and that's why he upholds everything that the prophet says if god sends the prophet god will uphold everything that the prophet says now when people hear a prophetic word a prophetic word is not fulfilled immediately it is spoken there is always a duration of time to see the fulfillment of the prophecy and sometimes we can take lightly the word of prophecy because of that time that it takes before it is fulfilled now i want you to know it doesn't matter how long it takes god is faithful and he will cause that which he has spoken to come to pass it may look like it may look like it will not happen but if god sent the prophet you can be sure that god will not let his word fall to the ground in other words he won't let it go unfulfilled now elijah the prophet during the time of king Ahab, had prophesied spoken before the king and said to the king it wasn't going to rain until when i speak again you see he didn't say until god speaks again he said it's not going to rain Ahab, listen to me i am a servant of god i am his spokesman and you need to hear what i am saying it's not going to rain there will be no rain until when i speak again that's a prophet that knows what he is talking about otherwise he is risking his neck you can't go telling the king he didn't just say it somewhere he went to the king and he said listen israel needs to know that the god to be worshipped is not Baal. Baal is no god Baal is an idol the true god is not happy with the way you have brought up this worship of idols the way you have you have turned the backs of the people to their god god is not god is not happy about this situation and he has sent me and i am saying to you you're not going to see any rain it took three and a half years for this prophetic word to be fulfilled surely people thought it would rain one year no rain they said surely maybe may, maybe well, maybe because these are two rain seasons and we have not seen any rain any rain maybe maybe the prophet was right the second year there was no maybe they knew it's not going to rain and they started to look for elijah everywhere Ahab sent his spies all over the nations to look for Elijah because now Israel was going through a famine and Elijah was eaten by God being fed by birds of the air for a time for the time for a, for, for, for part of this time when there was famine God would command 
reverence to bring him bread in the morning and meat and bread bread and meat in the evening so the prophet was not punishing himself you see when 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 god begins to hit on evil he doesn't punish the righteous together with the unrighteous oh hallelujah when there was no food he made sure that the prophet was well fed and the prophet was being fed by by uh, by the birds of the air i don't know where the birds we are we are getting the bread for they do, from i don't know whether 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 they, there was a bakery a bakery somewhere where they went and they got the bread but but i wonder where they where they got the meat with because it was not raw meat it was cooked meat you see there are miracles that we don't see the way they are you know we hear he was fed uh, by birds you don't you don't imagine where did they cook the food it is a miracle to be fed by birds but it is a greater miracle to be fed by birds food that is cooked because they don't know how to light a fire and this is bread they were not bringing oranges are you listening to me this is something that you need to cook they brought bread and they brought meat you don't all all those things you have to cook them and God, who is a god of miracles brought the food bread baked and and the meat fried whatever whether it was fried or or or, or, or nyamachoma or whatever it was i don't know <laughs> but it must have been it must have been well prepared for the for the prophet to enjoy it for some over a year eating from this place and then God says to him, go to Zarephath, and there I have prepared a widow woman to take care of you. The prophet will not suffer. The prophet will always be taken care of because he is paying heed to the, to the word of God. Let me tell you, you may wonder where I am heading to. I'm heading to where I read. That's where I'm trying to come to. I'm trying to show you something, something so powerful that the spirit of God as revealed to me we are living in a very 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 important time as far as prophecy is concerned and that's why that's why i am trying to i know you know this story but I, but i don't care the word of god is new all the time i will preach it a million times and i will not repent for it Glory to God. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to bring something very, very, which the Lord dropped in my hands. So I'm trying to introduce. I'm looking for a, a place to take off. So after three and a half years, Elijah shows up. The man they have been looking for everywhere and they couldn't get him. You know, when God hides you, you see, sometimes we read in the Bible that he will hide you under his pavilion. And we don't understand what, what it is talking about. It means that nobody can see you. As God allows them to see you. Oh yes, when, when, you are, when you are hidden by God, nobody will see you. Only those that are allowed by God to see you. Elijah showed up himself. And Obadiah, who worked at, the, at Ahab's palace, Meets with, the, with, meets with Elijah and Elijah says, go and tell Ahab Elijah is here. And I was so shocked. He, he said, what did I do that you want me dead? I know they've been looking for you everywhere. And the moment I leave you here, the spirit will take you away. And they will come and you are not here and I'll be killed. What wrong did I do that you do this thing to me? He said, as the Lord God liveth, I will not leave this place. You go tell Ahab, Elijah is here. I like the boldness of a prophet. When it is time for God to do what he said he would do, the prophet shows up. He is not, a, he is not running away from the king. He says to the king, tell the king I'm here. We can meet now. The time for a meeting has come. But I don't hold meetings before the time is ripe. 
He wanted to meet me when, when there, was, there had not been enough suffering. But now everybody knows, knows that God is holding the keys of the rain. And God is going to open up the reins if we, if we can negotiate. Go tell the king, I'm here ready for a negotiation to release the reins from heaven. And Ahab comes and looks at, the, at Elijah from afar. You who disturb Israel, is it you? And Elijah's cool. He is not under any kind of pressure. He says, I'm not the one. I've never disturbed Israel. You, you are the one who has been causing trouble for Israel. Because you introduced Baal and brought all these Baal prophets here. But I want, I have showed up so that we can find out if Baal is God, let's worship him. But if Jehovah is God, then we will worship him and not Baal. And we are not going to get into a discussion. It's action time. <laughs> no board meetings. It's action time. He said, I came for action. All the days you have not been seeing me, I was preparing for this day. And I have showed up. Go and tell your 440 prophets of Baal, let's meet up on the mountain. The God who will bring fire from heaven is God. If Baal does it, we'll bow down to Baal. The one who brings fire. And you know the story of the fire and you know the, the, how the pro prophets of Baal came and cut themselves and sang their songs and, and did their false worship and nothing happened and the sun was going down and Elijah said, your time is over. Time up! After they have been doing it from morning past noon, Elijah said, your time is over. Now, step aside. Baal can't do it. If he could, he would have done it. Say, Baal can't do it. So Elijah said, step aside. And then he prepared an altar for the Lord God Jehovah. And he's, he, he said, dig a trench all around it. Fill it with water. I like this. Until the offering, the wood, everything is soaked with water. Have you ever thought about why Elijah did that? This is faith in action. Say faith in action. Elijah was not going to light the fire. Elijah was going to ask a supernatural fire from heaven. Ordinary fire will not light in water. And he wasn't going to ask for ordinary fire. He was going to ask for fire from heaven, which is supernatural fire. And when everything was wet, soaked with water, Elijah stood there before everybody and he said, come closer now. I like just, I just love, love prophets. They, 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 they are not afraid. Say, come closer. So that you can see what is going to happen. Everybody drew close. Now you know everybody is quiet. You know the tension is high. And the prophet stands there, looks up to heaven. And he says, O oh God of Israel, so that these people may know that you are God and there is no one like you, I pray now, let fire come down and consume this offering. While he is finishing the prayer, the fire came down. To the exact spot 
where the offering was nobody came to light it it came down from heaven and it leaked the water the first thing it did is leaking the water say leaking the water that's what the god that's what the god given fire will do it will leak everything 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 that is would be an impossibility when god's fires begin to come upon your life all the impossibilities in your life are leaked it gets it consumes them consumed fast the water until the place was dry and then began to burn the offering and the smoke was going straight up unto heaven now there was no argument because the people saw the god of Baal, the Baal god was no god because he didn't bring fire and now the god of heaven has brought fire and the people started to worship they said jehovah is god he is god he is god he said okay before you get into a serious worship stop there there is no worship in the midst of idols and you can't worship in the midst of prophets of Baal. these people who have been lying to you these people who have been holding you captive they have been lying to you all these day, all these years now i want you to get hold of them make sure that no one flees he is doing away with idolatry say idolatry you know when you leave the children of the prophets of Baal, they are going again to begin to to build the altars of Baal. but i want to tell you the prophets have all to be killed for a new chapter to be opened every lying spirit has to be destroyed for the church to get to where god wants us to go now listen to me i got where i was trying to come to oh yes i am there and i'm ready to preach now glory the altars of Baal must be burned down the worshipers of Baal, the prophets of Baal must be killed and then when they are killed then we can have a celebration we can have a celebration we can begin to rejoice we can begin to worship god we can begin to lift him up because of the things that he has done he is great and an awesome god elijah and all the prophets of baal killed and when that exercise was finished you see king Hab is there watching when that is finished elijah turns to Ahab and says now you can join us in the party go and eat and drink you can rejoice to know now the God of Israel is in control and not bow so go sit down have a have a nice have a nice meal because it's celebration time hallelujah Amen. say go and go and go and prepare yourself go go somewhere and just have a nice meal i believe they must have had arrangements for this for this party so the king went and he drank and he ate but elijah didn't join the party because he has not finished his job the rain has not yet come while they while the the people are rejoicing and the people are are having a good time and worshiping God again Elijah goes up on Mount Carmel and Elijah sits down climbs up the mountain this is like a mountain isn't it and he sat down Bible says he put his head between his legs you know I can't do it <laughs> you have to begin that as a small child 
You don't start it when you are over 40. Shout yes. yes. Try it yourself. You are laughing. Try it. The Bible says, he sat down. You know, they also sit differently from us. They, they put the legs like this. Put the legs in between his, uh, his head between the legs. And the Bible does not say he was praying. It just says he put his legs, his head between his legs. And then he said to his servant, Go and look towards the sea. Say that after me. Go and look towards the sea. That's where I was heading to. <laughs> I got there. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, go and look. You know, he himself is not looking. His head is here. He is talking with his head there. He said, go and look toward the sea. And the servant went and looked the first time. He came back. He said, there is nothing. He said, go look again. The servant went back, looked towards the sea. You know, the servant knows it's supposed to rain now. But he's looking up towards the sea and there is nothing. He comes back the second time. He says, there is nothing. Elijah says, go back, look again. Oh my goodness, the servant goes back. This time he's a little bit reluctant. How many times am I going to look, I, I wonder. <laughs> he looks again, he comes back, he says, there is nothing. That's a, is that the third time or the fourth time? The third time. He goes back the fourth time. He goes back the fifth time. He comes with the same message. There is nothing. The sixth time. The servant must be tired. He comes back, he says, There is nothing. <laughs> Elijah said, Go look again. Say it. And this time he comes and looks and he sees something. Say, I have a good report now. Although it's not very good. He comes back and he says, Now, there is a little cloud as small as a man's arm there is what a small cloud then he said to the servant, go and tell Haha to get on his chariot and run back to the palace quickly because there is an abundance, an abundance of rain. My goodness. How can there be abundance rain from a cloud that is as big as my arm? Elijah says, go tell him quickly. Let him do it. Let him do it. Now, church, you may be living at a time when all you hear is the prophet telling you, go look, 
God look there is a miracle for you God look again you come you say there is nothing he says God look again you say there is nothing he says God look again and now you are getting tired you are saying how long will I be looking how many times should I go look hear me you can look as many as seven times this is the seventh year this is the year of your breakthrough this is the year of the abundant rain it's just about to pour on the seventh year a small cloud appears Woo! the seventh time the servant went to look a small cloud and I tell you I have seen that little cloud I have seen a small cloud I have seen a small cloud it's hanging over JCC I have seen a small cloud I have seen a small cloud God is about to rain an abundant rain it's just about to pour why because it's the seventh year and this is our year of breakthrough we're going to break through into the abundant rain oh i tell you the rain the rain is coming the rain is coming the rain is coming prepare yourself prepare your gardens prepare your gardens for sowing because the rain is coming oh i have to tell you it's time to sow your seed now because the cloud signifies a big rain that is just about to come you see the cloud looks so small insignificant but i want to tell you the truth god does not begin big things with big things you didn't hear me god does not begin big things with big things god begins big things with small things say it after me god begins big things with small things the bible says do not despise a small beginning when god begins to do something it doesn't look as big it doesn't look as attractive as we want it to look but i'm here to declare to you that that little thing is going to turn out to be something mighty is going to turn out to be something great you know some of you have already received the little miracle is a sign of the rain some of you have already seen the hand the, the cloud as small as an hand yes it's that small miracle that you have been despising is that little thing God has done for you and you say only this is this my breakthrough that's where it begins it's a small cloud but the rain is coming the rain is coming the rain is coming the rain is coming glory oh I'm getting excited <laughs> I, I waited too long to get here because that's where God wanted me to preach on hallelujah my god the rain the rain the rain shout the rain is coming oh, 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 oh this rain we have waited for it for years we have waited for it for years but at last at last god is saying jcc get ready god is saying kenya get ready oh i want to tell you i believe i believe god is going to use this nation i believe god is going to use this nation hear me now i begin to prophesy i believe with all my heart i can say it before a king i can say it before anybody now listen to me you who is at home Listen to me. I don't know who it is who is watching, but whoever you are, hear me. I'm prophesying now. I'm prophesying to Kenya. Hear me, Kenya. Open your ears and listen. Listen to this sweaty preacher. 
I've been sent by God to come and tell you, Kenya, get ready, get ready, get ready. The rain is about to pour. This nation is not going to fall. This nation is going to come up. But listen, before we can celebrate, there is something we must do. I'm speaking to Kenya now. How many Kenyans do we have here? Wave your hand. Oh, hallelujah. How, and how many people love Kenya here? How many people love Kenya? Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, there's something we must do. What did they do in preparation for the rain? They killed, eh? they killed the false prophets. Say they killed the false prophets. We have to do the same. We have to kill every falsehood. We have to destroy every spirit of idolatry. We have, to, we have to come strongly, powerfully as the people of God and say no to devil worship. We must say no to all, all falsehood that is trying to pull down the, this nation. Falsehood that is involved in shedding blood, innocent blood of people. We must bring it down. We must destroy it. We must destroy the, the spirit of falsehood that says, stand up sister, stand up brother, stand up sister, stand up brother too, and say, sister stand up, come, come here. This is going on the television, so you need to come boldly. Stand here in a line. Look at these five people. By looking at them, can you tell who is a Kikuyu? And who is a Luo? And who is a, who, who is a Kalenjin? And who is a Taita? Just look at them. Look at them. Is there a kind of dressing that shows what kind of tribe they come from? Eh? No. Shout no. no. How do they look like? Don't they look like Kenyans? Yeah. Huh? So, when you look at them, it is possible, say possible, to try to tell this brother that he should not worship together with this sister because probably I do not know because in this church I really don't care what tribe you belong to it doesn't it it, it matters zero I, I am I am speaking the truth before God these two people are workers here in the church. They bother ushers. But I, I, I absolutely don't know what tribe this brother is and what tribe this sister is. It really matters less. It would be a spirit of love to say, to this brother, you must find out what tribe this sister is so that you can worship together. God will not give you a breakthrough in 1998 unless you know what tribe she is. And then this sister says, eh, uh, you, you, you know, you too, you too, you know, uh, you, you, you can't really be close because, because uh, you, 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 you must get to know where they come from, lying devils. 
spirits of lie. We are all human beings. In fact, even the color does not matter. Whether you are brown or black or real black. <laughs> or white or yellow or maroon the color doesn't really matter you may be as black as charcoal it's fine tell your neighbor it's fine God is not concerned about these little things the devil is concerned with it's only the devil who knows how to divide people. Put one there, put one there. Get this one and they say, now you, you two, you two are from the same tribe. You're from the same tribe, so you good, you good. And then he says, oh, no, 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 you don't look like you. You stand there you, and you, you don't look like you belong. You, you stand there. <laughs> and when you look at the way these people are, don't, don't you see now they are a little bit messy? Huh? and they are not together do you think they can do anything when they are like this no 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 they can't and that's what the devil has been doing for years and years and years and people have been stealing in the name of their tribes they have been stealing to enrich people in their own tribes stealing from the stealing from the wealth of this nation hear me the time has cut a little cloud <laughs> A little cloud has appeared of unity. A cloud has appeared of unity. The Kikuyus are getting married to the Luos. And the, and the Kalenjins are getting married to all other tribes. And we are becoming one nation. We are beginning to move in one direction. And the church is saying no to tribalism. Is saying no to every lying spirit. Hear me. You are not going to divide us. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the law. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the law. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk side by side. We will walk with each other. We will walk side by side. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Praise the Son. Glory! No more, no more, no more. There is a cloud. There, there is a cloud. There is a cloud. There is a cloud. The rain is coming. Get ready, get ready. The rain is coming. Get on your chariot. The rain is coming. Get on your chariot. Get on your chariot. We are we about to move. We are about to go. We are about to go. Yeah. Thank you.
thank you for helping me make this this powerful demonstration hear me lying devil you are already bound you are already bound you know what else we're going to do we're going to unite against corruption is another lying spirit can i tell you how corruption lies still 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 get rich get rich get rich but we drive on the same roads with potholes you buy you a nice beautiful car and you have to get down and get up and go down another pothole another pothole i don't care how comfortable your car is i don't care what you have installed inside there you're not going to enjoy it go live somewhere else lying devil if you think if you think there is any any enjoyment in in destroying the nation you have been lied to honesty shout it when elijah said there will be no rain he was honest he was a prophet of god he was speaking because he heard from god and the time comes that a nation needs to get into honesty we get honest with one another it doesn't matter how much you you attain to yourself when we are brewing these robbers and these thieves because because the economy is in wrecks then they come and break your home then they steal guns from the police stations and they come and force people are you listening to me they come and force you to open your door even if you have you have put any kind of bunker proof they come with a machine gun and go papa papa it opens and they come in and kill you and take it by force you know what that is a fruit of is a fruit of ungodliness no police force can stop it no government can stop that let me tell you who can stop it god almighty will god almighty will we are talking about a god who is able and he is going to move in the lives of all these thugs they're going to be touched by the power of the gospel i believe right now as i am preaching somebody is watching on the television and you have been robbing by violence you have not yet been arrested hear me you better get saved before you die because if you don't hear this message in the next seven days you will be dead you better call that number right now on your screen let one of our workers pray with you and surrender your life to jesus say amen somebody god is already shaking the kingdoms of darkness you know why the cloud has appeared as small as the hand of a man and the rain is coming the rain is coming The rain is coming. Tell your neighbor, look up again. Look up again. Oh, if you have not seen the cloud, look up again. You may be just talking to you and you have not seen anything. Go look again. Go look again. Go look again. There is going to be such a tremendous power of God that is going to change all these false worships that are coming sweeping the nation like a big a big flood i'm telling you they're going to close down they're going to close down falsehood will not stand our court will not stand the worship of devils will not stand you know why because the people of god are going to put their heads between their legs <laughs> glory to god is a sign of humbling yourself and saying i'm not going to look around i'm going to concentrate i'm going to focus on my god and i'm going to pray until it happens
pray until it happens. I will pray until it happens. I will pray and pray and pray and pray. The Bible says in, in, in Chronicles, it says 714 is if my people who are called by, by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways. I will hear them from heaven and I will heal their land. All we need to do is put our put our heads between our legs and humble ourselves before God. We can't do it, but God can. Tell your neighbor you can't do it, but God can. God is going to do it, I tell you. There is a breakthrough coming. There is a breakthrough in every area. There is a breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Breakthrough, ha ha ha. Breakthrough is coming. We're going to get into what we couldn't get into. I want to tell you, we're going to see thousands and thousands of people running to the house of God because they are already in the house of God. We're not going to struggle to get the 80,000 people in. We are only going to pray them in and God is going to usher them, usher them through the breakthrough, usher them through the breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I get excited. I get excited. You have to forgive me because I preach something real. I preach it from my heart I don't know I, 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 I don't know I don't know anything I only know what God says when God showed me this ministry many years back when there was nothing I couldn't believe what I was seeing because there was nothing like it but he showed me people right in the center of Mombasa worshiping god they were not on the island they were, they were not on the mainland either on the either on the north or on the south or on the west but they were on the island i saw them with their hands lifted up they were uncountable there were so many and they were worshiping jesus and the lord told me son this is what i have called you for he said, this is what I have called you for. The church wasn't even 200 people. God said, this is what I called you for. He said, they will come. Just go and wait. And we waited. There was no sign. Until a little cloud. Oh, oh, oh. And now... That little cloud is coming again. A second rain. Because God cycles go sevens. Seven, 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 seven. So we are coming through the first cycle of seven. Are you listening to me? This is revelation. You don't, st you don't read it in a book. God cycles are seven, seven, seven. He created the heavens and the earth and everything you see. In seven days when they when, when he was giving Jericho to the to the children of Israel he said go around Jericho seven times the man I have read the servant had to look seven times and the seventh time there was a cloud huh. the seventh time there are cycles of seven 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 and we are in the last that the last year of our seven and before it ends we jump into something bigger something greater something more powerful I am excited you know when you know the truth you get excited we're not we are not boxing the air we are not trying to do something God is moving God is moving Kenya is in the hands of God the, the whole of this continent is in the hands of God and we are going we are going to have a revival before Jesus comes and it's going to start we have you been listening to the prophets they come here there was a prophecy made here on that spot where I am standing how many of you heard that prophecy uh -huh. You believe the prophets? It's true. It's going to come to pass. 
the light the light is going to from Mombasa the place that was despised which was non-christian non-christian people who have been in a great darkness now they have come into a great light i tell you the small shadow that small cloud as big as a hand get ready get on your chariot we are just about to go and let me say let me say this as i close you know when when Hahab got into his chariot and started running down the rain started pouring and the bible says and the spirit of the lord came upon elijah and he ran ahead of the chariot i like this <laughs> this is chariot of horses how many of you have seen horses huh do you think you can you can uh, uh, cope with the speed of horses eh? when the spirit gets out of you he will take you in speeds that are not yours The man was just, became just almost like a jet. And the Bible says he ran ahead of the chariot of Ha'ha, ahead of it. This is horses. We are not talking about cows. We are talking about a chariot that is pulled by horses. When the rain is coming we're going to we're going to move faster faster than anything that you know god is going to give us supernatural speed that that will be able to overtake a car we'll run faster than an ostrich are you listening to me we will move faster than anything that you know that moves god is going to cause the church to move very very fast because when our breakthrough has come elijah's breakthrough had come the breakthrough came when the rain started falling so when the rain comes starts falling uh, elijah had just to lead the way in in rejoicing this was his way of rejoicing because he wouldn't rejoice in eating and drinking when they were not eating he was eating but now now because they are not they are not uh, eating they are he is not eating uh, they they eat and then when they eat he wasn't eating so so now he can rejoice in a different way speed Pew. amen amen i don't care what kind of a problem you have there is an answer i don't care how big it is there is a bigger thing than it god is bigger than your trouble this is time for miracles and i want to lay hands on people right now i want to pray with people who are hurting I feel so strongly that the anointing of God, that little cloud is going to sit on you and the rain is going to pour on you. If you have an incurable disease, if you have something that is that the devil has put on you and said and used it as a memorial in your life, right now God wants to break it. You watching at home, get ready, I begin with you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that the power of God, the power that works miracles, will touch everyone watching at home you always seek at home hey you may be having aids you may be having cancer i don't care the name of that disease right now right now the breakthrough time has come god is going to break through into your situation and change everything get lay, lay your hand right there where you are where 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 you are stretch your hands towards your television screen right now in the name of jesus and let me pray for you believe god together with me father i break every cancer i break every spirit of aids i break every power that is holding people right now in the mighty name of jesus as they stretch forth their hands towards their television screens let miracles signs and wonders happen and the glory of god fill those rooms where they are hundreds and thousands of people right now are receiving their healing receive it in the name of jesus receive it receive it yes the cancer is dying call that number and tell us what is happening 
that high blood pressure thing that has been holding you mama there are 10 10 people right now being healed of high blood pressure yes yes receive it in jesus mighty name i give you glory i give you praise just call us and tell us what the lord has done for you call right away call right away if you don't have a telephone number if god has healed right has healed you right now i want you to write to us the address is on your screen or call us call us if you can that's the that's the best way just call us we want to hear what the lord has done may the lord god